Tonight, Coleman's Irish Pub on Tipperary Hill is closed. It's a rarity, but the lights are off in memory of its longtime owner, Peter J. Coleman. He died last night at the age of 84. Calling hours will be held this coming Sunday afternoon from 1 to 4 and his funeral Monday morning at 11, both at St. Patrick's and St. Bridget's Church on Tipperary Hill. Tonight, a billboard at Guinness and Fayette Streets in Syracuse, just outside the Tip Hill neighborhood, paying tribute to the man who didn't just grow his restaurant, he helped grow a community. Tonight, News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan sits down with someone who's worked with Coleman turned into a lasting friendship. Cheers. Peter Coleman is best known as the friendly Irishman who taps the keg of green beer outside the pub with his last name. But to Janice McKenna, the Tip Hill icon was her best friend. I thought, what a rush there would have been last night when he got to heaven. People saying, he's here. You know, and being all excited to see him. So that is Peter. He walks into a room and people want to be around him. A feeling his customers had on countless St. Patrick's Days, ever since Peter joined his father's bar in the 50s. Where are we go, ready? But McKenna admits his favorite holiday was the one he created, Green Beer Sunday. As the bar grew into a restaurant, a few green beers turned into a parade and party. This is really getting to be big time now, huh? <laughs> Coleman is isn't just remembered for the restaurant. He cared for everyone and everything around it, including renovating and renting 25 homes, building a memorial park near the upside down traffic light, and bringing a Celtic cross from Ireland to beautify the end of Tompkins Street. He made Coleman's and Tipperary Hill a destination. He really did. Coleman hosted a pandemic altered version of Green Beer Sunday this past February. Walking in there today and seeing people laughing and smiling and I mean, it's great. Two months later, an unspecified illness started to slow him down. He couldn't have guests for a while. He just didn't have the strength. So one day, all the stars aligned, and he said, come on over. So I went for what I thought would be a 10-minute conversation. I was there for two hours. Did you have a feeling that might have been the last time you'd see him? I did, yes. When I walked out of there, I thought it could be the last time I saw him. Yeah. Did you say anything special in that moment? Well... We had a really good relationship, and I was more concerned with where he was. You know, are you at peace? And he was. He was a man at peace. At peace, knowing his family, his business, and his community are better off because of him. A final cheers to Peter Coleman. As the Irish blessing goes, until we meet again.